So that's where we stand. That's what we need. Richard. Okay, I have a motion that uh, we pay it off. I got hands everywhere. <laughs> uh, and, Rick, and Charlie is second. Is there any discussion? Okay, there's no discussion. All in favor, right, raised by the right hand. Those opposed? Thank you. I relinquish it back to the pastor, and we'll do this at the end of the month, the 31st. I thought about doing a holy dance, and I may do it anyway, bless God. <laughs> Amen. Now, uh, now that we have done that, here's what we're going to do. Uh, April 29th. It'll take a while now for our papers to get back, so we'll, because we want to burn the note. Amen. Amen. But we want to have a big day and a big deal. And we're going to invite back every member that was here when the note was made. And we're going to invite all of them back. We're going to invite Brother Wayne Williams back. We're going to invite some folk back and Brother Roger Wright, Brother Hamilton. We're going to invite him. Anybody, we're going to invite everybody. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move our Sunday night service back to 5 o'clock. Have the service, burn the note, and then have a fellowship. And in the gym, I might do my holy Tennessee two-step. <laughs> All right. Okay, Pastor. We also have, uh, I think I've got this, Darren. Darren Moan. He's uh, come tonight. He's accepted Christ as his Savior. Amen. Is it Darren? Would you stand, Darren? Darren, do you believe that Jesus died on the cross to save you from your sins? Have you asked Jesus into your heart to be your personal Savior? You know if you died today that you'd go to heaven to be with Jesus? God bless you, sir. God bless you. I rejoice in that, don't you? Amen. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. When I came here, do you realize that I'm about to, in my 12th year as pastor here? That's hard to believe. It seemed like about three years for me, and uh, it went by so quickly. But when I came here, I remember sitting in the office in there with Russ and Ron and let's see who else Roger was back there and uh, several of the, of the deacons were back there and talking about finding a pastor well a church in North Carolina in King Mountain was debt free and had a new building they'd already called me they'd already voted I said don't vote till I know God's will and they already voted and so I already knew I had a church to go to in the south amen <laughs> but we got down here and uh, these fellows were talking to me about it and and then they said, now, preacher said, we about $435,000 you know, in debt and got another $60,000 debt. And I looked at that and I said, hmm. And I said, I believe this is where God will have me. And so we came and we started thinking about, now, how can we move forward to be debt free? And we made some decisions back then to go into the support of missions, made some decisions to help others, and God greatly blessed us. And Brother Roger was here as associate pastor when I was here. Brother Roger was a tremendous help to me. Helped me get orientated to the area, and not only that, he was a dear friend, and is still a dear friend. But uh, any, with anybody that's called to preach, they, they've got preach in them, and they want to preach. And so Brother Roger's gone up to Monk's Corners and pastors a church there, the Victory Baptist, and I wanted him to be here tonight and I wanted him to say some words to you just out of his heart. He used to teach the Sunday school class that Brother Powell teaches, and uh, they used to have a good time. Uh, you remember Brother Joe, he had one Baptist foot, one Pentecostal foot? Well, Roger's got two Pentecostal feet. Amen. <laughs> and I don't know what else. Got some other things mixed in there, too. But uh, Roger was a dear friend and is a dear friend, and I remember Shelby used to sing for us all the time. And I just wanted Roger to be here tonight, and uh, I know he'll be going to his service later probably, but I wanted him to just say some words out of his heart and uh, maybe uh, reminisce a little bit and then just uh, uh, lead us in prayer, Roger, if you will. Some of you have already looked at the board back there and saw some of the uh, old faces. Roger looks as just the same now as he did then, about 80 years old. No, but uh, he hadn't changed much at all. Brother Roger, just take a minute or two and say a few words and then lead us in prayer and pray that God will lead us into the future. And you look out there and you'll see some old faces and some faces that you don't know. And this is Brother Roger Wright, a dear friend. We appreciate him. Roger. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 and 7 says, I've planted, Apollos watered, 
but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. And uh, brother, pastor, friend, has already alluded to the fact I'm a little Pentecostal. Oh, glory to God! <laughs> Amen! Wonderful to have this occasion. I see some old friends. I see some folk that were on the front lines back in those days when we had all the debt. I couldn't see the forest for the trees. Many of you couldn't. I'd like for you to stand, each one of you that was in here in the Friday night prayer meetings, praying for Dr. Boofer to come. Just stand up. We prayed sometimes all night, Friday night. Every Friday night was prayer time. Glory. You can be seated. God bless you. I love you. This church was born on a man's knees in a motel room in North Carolina. Brother John Hamilton, a young man, about the age of my son at the time. He tells people that uh, he taught me how to win souls, and I tell people I taught him how to comb his hair. <laughs> he combs his hair straight back like mine. In those days, he was very vain. You remember when he used to put them three strands down here and, mo and, and immobilize it with hairspray? <laughs> Now he just combs his straight back, loved Jesus, still on the firing line, thank God for him. Wonderful man. Well, that's where the church come from. Many of you have come in, made great sacrifices to see this day. I, I tell you, God is here. God is here. When I first met Dr. Boofer, he made one of the greatest impacts on me of any preacher that I've ever met. I'll never forget when the spokesman, I believe that was Brother Ron, wasn't it, Ron? Says, what kind of salary are you going to take? <laughs> Doc Boofer says, I work for God. I don't take a salary. You know what it takes in this area to support a family the size of mine. If I take a salary, I'm a hireling. I'm not a hireling. I don't run when the wolf comes. I work for God. He'll take care of me. Doc, I love you. The wolf has been around, but you never ran. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you for this momentous occasion. We thank you, God, for blessing this assembly. Lord, we love this church. It's our home church. Amen. God, we know that the church could be destroyed today, the building, but the church would still exist. Father, we'll be with this church throughout all eternity, that called out assembly. We thank you for each one. We wish, Father, that we could truly express the depth of our love tonight for each one in this building that's a part of this great work for you. Father, we ask you to bless this work, continue to bless it, and a special blessing on the pastor and his vision, God, that brought a church out of debt. Lord, we thank you for Brother John Hamilton, the vision that you gave him, the one that started it, the genesis of it. But Lord, you use men to do your work. And Father, we do know that you move men sometimes, and we thank you for that. Because, Lord, you don't share your glory with anybody. And to you be the glory for this night that we celebrate. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Just stay steady if you will. I want all of our deacons to come to the platform. All of our deacons. If you'll come on up to the platform, please. Make your way up here. All of our deacons. Let's go, guys. Brother Powell, I want you up here. And now I want, I, I, listen, everybody deserves to be up here. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody deserves to be up here. But I'd like the charter members of the church, the people in our church that were here from the beginning, those prayer meetings, I want you to come and stand up at the front right here. Come on, right now. Roger, all you guys, get on up here. Ladies, if you were here, get on up here and stand right at the front. 
Some of them are awful old. It'll take them a little while to get here. And some of them are not that old. Some of them were babies back then, right? Ron, would you, the glare, please, would you move over just a little? I can't see. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. All right, let's get everybody in place, and we're going to get some pictures. We're going to get some pictures. Now, we're going to burn our note, and uh, we're going to sing, Wayne, a good song. Where's Wayne? Looking for him. Where's Brother Coker? Right here. Hiding back there. I want him to lead us in a good song, and then we'll be dismissed in just a little bit. Brother Powell? That's really not Wayne's supper dish. That's what we're going to burn the note in. We don't burn the church down. Amen? Remember these? You remember that, Roger? Look up here. You remember these? Y'all remember them? Let's see. Roger, it was, was you and Charlie and who else? Russ put, uh, and John put their houses on the line for this thing. And uh, now we're debt free. Amen? Y'all want to watch it burn? <laughs> Jim Brown is the chairman of our deacons. Jim, come and say just a few words and then lead us in prayer and then we'll burn the note. Uh, all I can say is it's been a long time coming. The Lord's really blessed us in the last. Hey. hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, about 10 years. 10 years we've been praying for this and the Lord's really blessed us. We've come a long way. And I thank it all to y'all and the Lord. Hey. Thank you. Hey, now can you pray? <laughs> Thank you, Lord God, for blessing this church the way you have, Lord. We owe it all to you, Lord. We pray, dear Lord God, now as we go into the future, dear Lord, you continue to watch over us and guide us and give us wisdom, dear Lord, in all the things we do, dear Lord, in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All those pictures out there, all the memories, well, we just start and we're going to build some more memories. Amen. Amen. All right. Who wants to light this thing? Charles got All right. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. 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 Turn Don't set it on the wood. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> All right, just stand here, guys. Just stand here. Now, uh, stand up with us, please. Just, just stand where you are. All you just stand right there. I want you to stand right where you're at. Deacon, just stay up here. Wayne, come and lead us.